this is the beginning of the video. Welcome to France. Felicia is having breakfast. Very, this is a very French breakfast. I would think so. Un café et un, un or une brioche. Like a traditional pastry. It's actually, it's bread. It's not very sweet. We are here at Chateau de Chenonceau, which is where we canoed yesterday. And we're just waiting for it to open. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked about this trip is that we were traveling with like awesome people. And it's usually just Wes and I, not that Wes isn't awesome. But it was nice to uh, to travel as a group and like do things as a group. And I'm sad it's our last day. Yeah, we don't hang out with people enough. We need some other people that make YouTube videos to hang out with. We do have a couple friends scattered about the world, but we need someone with us at all times. Please submit your applications to be our friends in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> this is the walkway up to the castle. You can kind of just picture what it might have been like when, I don't know, the horse and carriage used to probably come down this road. Kind of like in Game of Thrones, where oh, they yeah. have that the arch of yeah. trees. They gave us uh, an iPod Touch to throw down on some electro beats while we do a tour. It's cool. It's like a whole. Uh, it's almost like an app. You just play the number that you're at. If you look at some of the beds that people used to sleep in, like, they don't look too comfortable. Pretty tough, in fact. We stayed at one of those French hotels. It had a similar bed. It was not very comfortable. The guide says, you have to imagine this place teeming with life and full of voices and excitement. Surprisingly busy, but somehow I managed to find myself with a kitchen all to myself. And I guess during the war, the, this castle was used to help treat the wounded and the kitchen would feed 200 people a day. It's like a wedding a day. We have arrived at the maze. The plan is for Wes to beat Felicia at the maze. No, right? we're okay, so have a contest. We're gonna time it. Okay, so who, do you wanna go first? Rock, paper, scissors, quick. One, uno, dos, tres. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed up. Uno, dos, tres. Uh, okay, okay, so, so I go first. Or no, no what? I would... Okay, so I'll go first, okay. we'll time it. Okay, there's two paths, Fel. I actually saw this from the drone footage, so I might have an advantage. That's not fair. Okay, we just, we just have to exit the maze, and then we have to get back to this spot. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll cut through. Why would we go to the center though? Oh, cool! Look at this. Oh, we can just jump and look. Oh, there's the exit right there. Okay, that's easy. The winner! The winner emerges! Oh, the bike fell off! Shit! I won! A minute twenty-four seconds. Okay, you ready? On your marks. Okay, wait, I want a disclaimer. Wes had the advantage of having that maze to himself. There are no people in it. Okay, ready, set, fire off, go. One, two. <laughs> My guess is this is symmetrical. Oh no. <laughs> I have to be a minute, 24 seconds. Oh no. Uh, no, dead end. <laughs> I think I'm good. not gonna make it. <sighs> No! I just peeked! That's cheating! And? Go this way. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, even while you were cheating, you're looking above. No. <laughs> My thing was, I wanted to go in one side and out the you other did. side, because that's how I think amazes. <laughs> the lady was looking okay. and I'm like, on fait un concours, which I think is. We're doing, we're having a contest. <laughs> okay, so I win then. No, no, I win. <laughs> what do Bragging you win? rights and I'll get to make you eat fish or something. Phil, I don't know if we're allowed to go and taste wine here. The guy's too handsome at the... <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks, He's dressed too nice. It looks really fancy. Like we are about to do a wine tasting at La... Cave des Dons, which is the cellar here at the castle. But I looked at the prices, so it's a tasting of three different wines for four euro, which is a really good price. I asked the sommelier, and so 
you figure you're not getting just like a little bit of wine. You're getting a decent, you know, you're getting a glass. Wines, you're pretty much getting a glass. Four right? euro and a castle in France. And that's what I like about the region. Like we're not in Paris where everything's super expensive. We're at like everything is affordable. Yeah. At the castle, we're tasting a, a white, a rosé, and a red from Touraine Chenonceau. And they've got little hors d'oeuvres for us. This one is quinoa, I believe. It's a close-up shot. Ooh. You, you just put it in your mouth? No, no, but really, no. No, yeah, that's a... Okay. And the leaf, the leaf looks so fun. So this is another hors d'oeuvre. It is uh, chicken. This is sage or the top? Yeah. Very nice. In some chicken. And some sage. That was a joke. What is it? This is, it smells so good. It's blue cheese with walnut. And the good thing about wines in the whole Loire Valley region is that they're very versatile. So when you're pairing them with food, you have a little bit more of a variety of what you can serve because the wines are not so extreme in flavor, I would say. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, it's, hot. it's firm. Oh, man. It's gonna be good. You love cheese, right? I love cheese. <laughs> this is really good. I'm not sharing. Now we're going to a restaurant called Longerie. Oh, they got bread. It's all the best part of this whole restaurant sitting right in front of you and you're not even looking. Come on, look, look, look. Oh my god, look at the variety. You've got it chopped, you got full ones. Oh my god. Today we're having salmon tartare. Am I nervous? You might say yes. I usually don't eat fish, and now we're having. Is it raw? It's raw fish, right? Raw salmon. <laughs> It's like ceviche. I don't really like ceviche. I don't know what this is, but it looks so beautiful. Wow. We've probably never had a meal this fancy before. <laughs> Very exciting moment. It's very good. This is up there in like the most memorable meals. So how was that dessert that we had? Oh man, that was so good. Honestly, that was probably the fanciest meal we've ever had. <laughs> and now I'm kind of sad. Like this is coming to the end of everything. It's the last tasting that we're doing today. The last winemaker that we're meeting. When you come to do tastings here, you can either do them at like vineyards or caves. These are the caves of Mont Mousseau. The winery we're at right now is, is one of the biggest in the Loire Valley, and I think the focus is sparkling wine. Or is that yes. one we're tasting? The, fo the focus of their this brand is the sparkling wines, and we're tasting five wines. And the guy is so cute. She's like, "Hopefully, you guys are okay. With you have to taste five wines. You're on a wine tour." <laughs> I mean, that was a terrible accent. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, "If we, if you don't like wine, we have grape juice." <laughs> <laughs> we're in a troglodyte cave or house. And I don't know if you guys remember in Vouvray, we were learning about the excavation of limestone in the caves. So apparently when people used to live in these, they were solving a few problems. They had advantages because one, the cave was already dug because they excavated limestone. And two, in the Middle Ages, there used to be taxes for roofs and windows. So when you live in something like this, you're not, you don't need a roof and minimal windows. And three, if you ever needed more room, you just dig a little bit more and you've got more wood because this, more room, sorry, because this is, uh, like we saw, it's very easy to, to dig. They're so innovative and like this is an original troglodyte, so someone lived here in the Middle Ages and we're standing right inside. We're about to go into the cave for our tour and our tasting and honestly, within like three feet, it is cold. You can feel you can the cold feel it like air. It's like AC blasting. Every place we've visited has a unique feature and here they work with local artists all over the caves and they've got, it's almost like an art gallery and they've got art projected on screens and lit up. Everything is all lit and it's supposed to help also with claustrophobia. So they're just showing us how like, this is kind of the cellar, it's great because it's like the same temperature all the time in here. It's like a little bit chill. Okay, so this is all sparkling wine. And literally they've manually stacked, she almost, says 16,000. Oh, 30,000 bottles, but there's no rack. So if you look, it's like, it's just a bottle and then another bottle, another bottle like on top of it. So if I come up here, 
So literally, it's just completely stacked all the way down to the back of this like cave. And it's all stacked by hand, and they do it four bottles like, at a no, time. There's she no said, box. It's just it's just on the bare ground, like, and this is from 2016. So it's aging here, stacked by hand, and apparently their fingers are a little bit deformed because of all the work it is. What, the workers? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wow. Well, yeah, it's kind of cool. Back in Amsterdam. I hope one day we can see more of the Netherlands. Yeah, I love this place. I love the bikes. So it's the last bit of a flight. Nine more hours, though. That's it. Well, this is a big part of the flight. <laughs> big flight, but KLM, great airline. So very excited. Very excited to watch a, five movies. I'm gonna try to watch movies because then when we get home, like we leave at the same time as we land because of the time. Ah, I love it. See, this is this is a day flight. Time. Day flights are the best. Felicia is like a mouse, okay? When she talks, like, so if, if she needs something, we're in a group of people, when she talks, she'll be like, excuse me? So like, so no one can hear her. She is a mouse. I don't know and like, speak we, the, the, the flight attendant didn't give her a sandwich. Because I was sleeping. She was sleeping surprise, and then, surprise. and then she's like, excuse me? And no one can hear her. She's like, just too nice and too cute. Yeah. <laughs> 